So now let's talk about this for a little bit. Everything has been rather basic up to this point. I used a stencil to create the background. I free drew a little bird here. And you might have noticed that this green bled into the blue a little bit and I used my brush to pick back up the color. A dry brush in watercolor is your best friend. And you can also call it a thirsty brush. And what you're doing is you're picking back up colors. But now I still have, whoops, I hope you can see this okay, a little bit of the green fade into the blue, which isn't horrible. And I can try and go back over it with a little bit more of the blue here. So I can, now that everything's dry, it's still going to have kind of a green tint to it, but this will give me another variation of the colors by glazing over like that. So I like that. I got to fix that. Kind of left that space there a little bit too much. And again, I'll just glaze over with my um, sea spray and just touch back over. I'm going to bring that down a little bit more because it just has a touch of a red belly. Now, this is the dry brush technique. You just, or a thirsty brush, I keep saying dry brush, but it's really a thirsty brush. Just wipe your brush off, go back in. And you can blend a little bit softer. You can pick up colors a little bit. But as you can see, that blends my colors in without adding more colors or more layers. So there we go. Okay. So all I got to do now is just paint in the background color. Don't know what I'm going to use for that yet. And then ink it in and it'll be done.